Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife related video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Vero Engineering Synapse, and I'm going to be doing a, a few part swaps. Uh, I've gotten some accessory uh, scales and some accessory uh, components uh, that I'm going to swap out. I'll do a little bit of disassembly and reassembly so that uh, any Synapse owners out there can uh, can see how it's done. I've got some tips for you in that regard. Uh, but really, I just want to uh, go ahead and uh, swap out some of the accessories that I have and take a look, uh, see how it looks uh, with some of these other new parts. Now, when I first got the knife, um, it came with the red G10 scales. Um, if you are a follower on my Instagram, you can see some, uh, some photos that are there uh, on, uh, on my Instagram account. Um, I, I've already uh, done my normal preventative maintenance uh, with this knife, which involves uh, coating the blade with this stuff, NECI. Uh, it's become pretty popular in the knife enthusiast community. Truthfully, I don't know if it does anything for you or not. I have no way of testing it. Um, but a lot of people who are smarter than me use it, so I go ahead and use it. And I've, I've applied that to the, to the blade, and then I've done my normal uh, using KPL uh, knife pivot lube, both the original product and the heavy. Um, basically, uh, anywhere uh, where, where metal touches metal or where there's, there's moving parts, and of course you use the heavy product on the pivot itself, uh, or rather uh, on the detent path. Uh, so I've gone ahead and done that. Uh, but again, here's, here's what the knife looks like with uh, these blue scales. Uh, they're almost a periwinkle in color, I think. Um, but they do look nice. And it's just a gorgeous knife. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and disassemble it. And uh, what I'm going to be putting on, I've got a couple of things here. I've got um, a Timascus uh, clip and backspacer. Um, here's a picture of the clip. And I've got a Timascus backspacer here. Here's a picture of the backspacer. So I'm going to go ahead and be. In, I'm going to go install those, um, and I've got a purple uh, pivot. I'm not 100% certain I'm going to install the purple pivot. Uh, uh, I may or I may not. But let me try the. Uh, I'd like to see what the the Timascus uh, backspacer and pivot uh, or backspacer and uh, clip look like. To do this, you'll need a T6 and a T8. Um, uh, driver, and uh, I use Weha. Uh, I'm I'm doing this video with my Kerr Knives and Tools uh, knife uh, maintenance tray. This is one of the exotic wood ones that he offers. Uh, this is in African wedge wood. Uh, really like it. It's just gorgeous. It's a much darker wood. I have another one in in walnut uh, that that uh, you've probably seen on this channel or on my Instagram as well. And of course, I'm using uh, the Kerr knives and tool uh, bit driver as well. Uh, but uh, the in terms of disassembly, again, T6 and T8, you only use T8 on the pivot itself. The rest of the screws um, are T6. So we will start with the T8, and we will go ahead and remove the pivot. And just note that uh, you know, I do have a perfectly centered blade uh, on this. Uh, if you do it right, you will you will get your, your perfectly centered blade. Uh, Joseph QCs all of these and, and does the adjustments necessary to uh, get the blade centered before he sends them out. And if you do your disassembly and reassembly correctly, then uh, uh, your blade will be centered again too. Okay. So I normally stick my pivot up here. Once that's done, you can go ahead and shift over to T6. 
So the thir first thing you want to be cognizant of is the fact that uh, all these other T6 screws, uh, there they are uh, screws of varying length. Um, the shorter ones are at the top of uh, of the of the scales. So I normally take those off first, and I will put them kind of in the top of my tray area off to the side. because that's kind of where they go on the scales. The screws that are on the bottom, I put toward the bottom of the tray. And I'm not very mechanically inclined, so I have to do little things like this to help me remember. Um, now the, the bottom three screws that you're dealing with, two on this side and one on the bottom, uh, the one on the bottom is a long screw that will go through and into the clip here. So we'll go ahead and take that one off first. Pulls right out. You can see that's a pretty long screw. I'll put it at the bottom and then the screws on either side actually go into in through the scales and into the back spacer one two okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take the clip side off. Um, you will note that um, the clip and the G10 will still be attached to the titanium uh, part of the body. Uh, that's because there's a screw on the back side that goes into the clip. Um, so we'll start there. Um, I will go ahead and remove this screw, again, it's a T6 as well. Okay, it dropped out. And now the scale can come away from, uh, the G10 scale can come away from the titanium uh, part of the the body and uh, uh, the clip you would think would kind of just drop off, but again, the tolerances are very, very uh, precise. Uh, and once the screws are in place, it kind of uh, really presses that clip into the G10. So I normally just kind of press from the bottom um, and you know wiggle it a little bit and it will uh, pop off. Okay, I just just kind of give it a little persuasion and it, it will come off. Uh, again, once you've removed the screws that I've already shown you, uh, that I've already shown you, there's nothing uh, mechanically holding the clip to the G10 scale. So I'm gonna put out that off to the side and I'm gonna grab the Damascus one and kind of slide it in there like so. And I'm going to try to reattach this to the body. Let's see. Have I done this correctly? There we go. I'm going to use our screw here to go on the back on the underside. Now, once that screw is back in place, uh, it becomes much easier to work with. Okay, so that's kind of th step one. Uh, step two is the backspacer, which you can see here, uh, and I'm just gonna kind of lift up on it. 
Now, the, you'll see that there's a couple of tubes. Um, when you're doing your disassembly and, ass and assembly, it's, it's important to know that, that these tubes that uh, fit between the two titanium pieces and holds the backspacer, one of those has a threaded interior and one of them does not. Um, the, uh, I'm pointing to right now the one that is threaded. I, it, it, I see that as kind of toward the top. Um, and that fits those screws that go on either side, the two screws. The long screw that goes all the way through goes through the, the, two, the uh, uh, kind of tube here that is not threaded. So make sure you get those back uh, in the correct placement uh, when you do your reassembly or, or life will not go well for you. Ask me how I know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, Timascus backspacer on here. And it's pretty obvious when you don't have this on uh, correctly. Um, so don't worry about putting it on backwards. It's real obvious in terms of uh, this long skinny end will kind of be sticking out if, if you put that uh, in the wrong place. Again, ask me how I know. Now we're ready for reassembly. Um, now, I normally like to get that pivot back in first, so I'm going to go ahead and put my T8 back in. I'm going to get my pivot screw here. Kind of putting some pressure on the, uh, the body just to kind of squeeze it together. And I'm trying to use care to not scratch uh, the, the pivot screw there. And it's going back in pretty nicely. And I'll make it a little tight. Um, I'll probably make some adjustments to that a little later. Now, uh, life is almost, uh, I'm done with my T8 so I can pull that out. Put my T6 back in. Um, life, uh, Reassembly life is much easier once the scales are, are kind of stably attached. So I put those top screws in on both sides first, just to make life a little easier for putting in the screws at the bottom. And I'll just flip it over and get the scale on this side in. Oops. Just drop it in there. There we go. Okay, now with the scales firmly attached, it makes the next steps a little easier. I normally put the long screw that goes in the bottom first. Come on, there we go. Just kind of push it in there till it stops and then you can start threading. And then I'll put the, the final step is to put the screws in on either side of the body. Get 
this one on the other side. Good. There we go. And we're in. Now let's see. Uh, blade is centered. Uh, normally at this time I'll see if I need to do any adjustments to the pivot. Uh, and this is just a preference thing. Um, so it's flipping pretty good. Let's see. It's dropping shut very nicely. Yeah, that's about where I like it. So uh, I got it on the first shot. And there's what it looks like with the Timascus clip and backspacer in there. I'm not sure how I like it with this scale. I might actually like um, the plain titanium better. I've also got the uh, the end cut carbon fiber. That might be a better match. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, and I might go ahead and change the pivot out just to see how, how that looks like. Um, so hang on for one second. Okay, so rather than put you through another disassembly and reassembly, I just went ahead and off camera uh, put the red end cut carbon fiber scales on with the uh, Timascus clip. Um, it probably matches a little bit better. Um, I can't say that I'm overly crazy about the red end cut carbon fiber, uh, mostly just because of the color. It looks more kind of burgundy to me. Um, Joseph's mentioned that you can take Ritter dye to those and do some kind of interesting things, which is a thought. Um, honestly, I think I would just prefer to have the black G10 scales on there, contrasting with the Timascus, um, but some people will probably like that look. Um, let me go ahead and put the purple pivot on there uh, to kind of complete the look uh, of this one. And we're back again. I did the uh, pivot screw swaps. You can see what it looks like with a purple anodized pivot on there. It looks really nice on the clip side, I think. It matches very nicely to the Timascus. Really nice. Closer here. So there you have it. Um, there's uh, some disassembly, reassembly, and some different looks with the uh, Bureau Engineering Synapsis. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this production from the Through My Lens YouTube channel. If you did, please click on the like button and do share the video on social media. If you'd like to see more content like it, please do subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do check out Through My Lens at www.throughmylens.org.